I'm Hajja Zalia Kasim, Samu, <laughs> and I'm a fashion designer. With uh, this initiative, I believe it's gonna go a long way because it's about time we had initiatives like this all around the country to put all these youth, these young women on the map because we have so many you know, young ladies with potential but they don't have the opportunity and I believe this is a huge opportunity to propel them towards to come. And as a facilitator after teaching this first class, I, I believe we can make impact. My only thing is I hope they will just open up a little bit more and be more open to the opportunities that are bound there because I realize that many of them are timid and I think it's just from the bringing that we were given. With time, I think they will, they will like fall in line and see what's are really out there for them and the options that are available to them. Because I believe many by now know that fashion is not just about sewing. They've realized that there are so many RNAs that or areas, should I put it, that they can improve themselves and their lives and their future. So this is a really, really a great initiative and I'm really proud to be a part of, uh, of it. For once, I was nervous because I've never done this before, but it was something I was willing to prepare for because I, I think I got an opportunity that others didn't, and this initiative is one way for them to, re, you know, get, get out there, get the exposure, if I may say. So I think... We have a lot of room for improvement, but so far what I've seen is encouraging. So, yeah, it's, it's, it should be good. It really bothers me as a person that all these kind of uh, initiatives are concentrated in one place. I feel like it should be decentralized so that everybody, every Zongo in our country will benefit from this because a lot of young women, what I've come to realize is they don't even know their potential. They don't even know what they are worth. So I believe once the opportunity is given to them, they will be able to give back to the society. Because one thing is for sure, and it's even in our dean, the first uh, classroom of the child is on the mother's lap. So now, if you have an ignorant mother, you are going to have ignorant kids, and that's how it follows. But alhamdulillah, now we have gotten to a situation whereby all that has been truncated. Not fully, but it, it has changed. Now you go to universities and you see a lot of young women in there in their hijabs, can identify them. It wasn't like that. So I think it's a gradual process. This is the beginning. And inshallah, who knows, two, three, four, five years from now, we may have a full room and we may even have to rent a bigger place to host this kind of session. So, I feel like the push should be out there, but this should be the example that we're going to take to the stakeholders and be like, hey, this is what we are doing. We want to take it nationwide because we can't do it on empty, you know, and you need supporters, you need investors. So I will say, focus on yourself, focus on what is it that you've, you know, set your, 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 your sights on, your goal. You should, you should be goal oriented and know that this is what you want to achieve at the end of whatever course or goal or whatever you set yourself up for. So having friendship is not going to help you. So my advice is stay away from friends, focus on yourselves and do your best, inshallah.